Hey everyone, so today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It comes in 135 scale and we have here a kit which is named as a to be ahead uh, to save the life. So here we have suppers of the armed forces of Ukraine. In 135 scale it might be an interesting base for some Derama project. And of course we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and that's actually the final shape of this kit so you can get it already in Modelimex webshop as far as I remember and it's a figure set mainly as you can see we have three figures included and also there should be one dog again all of them are molded in this 135 scale and a box size or the packaging style is typical for such kit from ICM here you can see comparison with my hand we also have the kit number is 35753 and here on the side you can see also some information about this kit so it's written we have 45 parts for assembly of three figures and one dog and here on the opposite side you can also notice this let's say marking guide or the profiles for these figurines but obviously they will be a bit more detailed in the assembly manual which should be combined together with the marking guide so what i'm doing now is cutting through the plastic seals so it's a typical ICM packaging styling, so that's why uh, if these seals are cut through, it means somebody was opening this kit before you, and it's a good uh, thing to ask seller why it was opened, and of course to inspect all the parts. But as for the uh, packaging quality, I would say it's quite sturdy. So as you can see, it arrived to me via post and there is no damage, mainly thanks to this uh, quite sturdy white cardboard box. And if I open it, inside we will find one and only plastic sprue with all necessary parts. So let's put it to the side and open this resealable plastic bag and check what we are actually getting here. So there is no naming for this sprue because it's only one obviously. So we still get the parts numbering. So each part gets its own um, digit and also you can see that uh, the overall design the overall parts division it's typical for a 135 scale it means we have separate wax hands and one piece torso one piece head as well and separate helmets as well as the equipment everything is molded in a quite nice quality as you can see here for example we have AK47 which is molded as a single piece part and just to remind you this is the original plastic kit so this is not uh, something made out of resin so that's why it is even more more impressive if you remember this small thing let's say so here you can see one of the corners uh, I would say that the facial features and overall sculpting quality looks quite convincing and of course it will deserve the nice paint work because with this you can also bring out some features here you can see some parts for another soldier obviously all poses are predefined the same applies to this dog and with the dog I am not that sure that it will be an easy thing because as you can see you have to join two house together and of course you will have somehow to get rid of uh, the seam in the middle and this is even more tricky in this head area and also here is another figurine this one is uh, pre-molded together with the uh, metal detector and as you can see this hand and this uh, thin rod it will require some due care because here we have some attachment points and if we flip over this parts so here the main thing is that we do not have any guiding elements whatsoever and even though poses are predefined still you have to be careful while joining all of this stuff and just give me a second i will take a look at the helmets so helmets are also empty inside as you can see so there are no features and they should be on the head of the figurine especially considering that some heads are molded like that so definitely you cannot uh, leave the helmets aside and also get the figurine without the helmet and as for the dog as i said we also do not get any guiding elements so here it gets a bit more tricky because of the things which i just mentioned so these two halves should be connected together seamlessly otherwise you will get really 
weird look of this dog. Next we also get a small advert for the paints from the same brand. So uh, yes, ACM is producing paints in case you missed. So here we have really nice product which is suitable both for the airbrush and brushing. And there are already several sets available for the kits which are produced by the same brand as you can see so definitely check them out because it's really good product surprisingly good to be honest because i was expecting something different next we continue with the assembly manual so this one is quite simple it is printed on one sheet of paper and here we have the parts map and also paint chart there as you can see so paint designations or paint numbers are given in ICM numbers only which is rather surprising maybe it's connected together with the ukrainian camouflage who knows and here we have the marking guide and assembly manual which are combined into one we also get this uh, small example of the camouflage on the uniform of the soldiers obviously there are no decals so in case you would like to replicate this national insignia you have to do it with a sharp brush because there are no decals again so overall I would say this is a quite nice figurine set from ICM in 135 scale it might be interesting for many modelers for uh, different diorama projects. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release, do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. And if you like this video press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.